Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and we have a few things to talk about today. Yes, we finally will get some more information about Season 2, The Puppeteers, on a live stream that will be happening next Monday, the 2nd of October. It will be streamed on the official Twitch of The Division, but of course, we will be live streaming it as well at Twitch. Less I am Pure Prime talking about it, seeing what the community thinks, and of course, breaking everything down that they're gonna talk about. So they showed us this yesterday, and as you can see, it reads To find out what's in store for you in year five, season two, Puppeteers, make sure to tune in live on October the 2nd, where the Twitch of the Division, when of course all the time zones wherever you are in the world and then it's see you there. Agent special report and Yannick is going to be there. Yes, the beard will be back live on stream talking to us about season two puppeteers and of course hopefully answering some questions from us in chat as well so what is season two all about in my opinion it's all about the incursion coming to the game yes we're getting incursions back to division two we of course know that the incursions were a very popular thing within division one and were one of my most played game modes in that game had a lot of fun with my boys and i'm definitely definitely jumping on that again so what do we know so far about the new incursions coming so let's start with the name it's gonna be called paradise lost we found a few hints towards that on the pts testing this will be played in the merit estate and we will be fighting against the cleaners and to quote yannick a lots of fire and heat in there so be ready make sure to get your builds ready and i think hazard protection will have a very very good spot in this incursion but we will have to wait and see then like i already mentioned it is a four man a game mode so a four man a mini raid there will be multiple bosses and multiple caches and how do we know that because somebody asked the devs underneath the ouroboros that it will be the exotic locked behind this incursion how can we unlock that and the division twitter handle responded to it with you can unlock it same as the rates from the caches so plural or from one of the bosses plural as well so we can probably expect literally a mini raid for four people defeating multiple bosses and then of course multiple mechanics probably as well because ubisoft nsc is the one that is behind the incursion and this is the same team that built dark hours and iron horse and those are of course the raids that we have in division two so i really think that it's gonna be a little bit more towards the raids than it was in division one I am freaking hyped to hear this because I like raids, but it's a little bit easier, especially for the community, just to get four people together or at least get three other people together next to yourself. And that's why it is so nice to see that we will have matchmaking for the incursion. I am not 100% sure if that will be there from the start, but we will definitely get matchmaking. And I spoke a little bit about it already, but the Ouroboros is gonna be the new exotic SMG coming to year five season two puppeteers and will be locked behind the incursion. I know a lot of people will have their opinion about it, but I think it is a good thing because the exotics are a little bit too easy to get right now. I loved how they were earlier to get all the pieces together to craft one 
or of course will be locked behind a raid or something and I think this is the best choice as the incursion is in a four man squad so it's a little bit easier to get your squad together and run through that. Talking about that Ouroboros of course everybody wants to know how to unlock this freaking beast and it will have a chance to be dropped from any of the bosses within the incursions and it has a 10% drop chance in the caches but that will only be once a week just like with the raids and if you want to keep playing the incursion to get that Ouroboros if you're not lucky enough to get it in your first run I don't know if there is anybody will get it in their first run I'm very very curious who will be the first one to beat the incursion and of course who will be the first one to have that Ouroboros because I think that's gonna be the new meta gun if they didn't change anything of course we tested it out on the PTS but those things are still subject to change so we have to wait until it comes out to the full game if you keep running it you will still have a chance to get it to drop from the bosses but that's only one percent so you have a chance but it is a very very low chance that the Ouroboros will drop for you from one of the bosses so keep grinding get your team together and dive in the last little piece of information i have is that they will be comms in there as well probably when we defeat somebody we will get a calm or maybe we can find comms in there as well it's a very interesting thing because we can find 10 different comms within the incursion or at least for now 10 different comms as we know they changed it a lot with for example the last edition of the game mode with descent we started with i think like 14 then we jumped back to 12 then we jumped back to 17 it was fluctuating a lot how many comms that we had to get for the descent game mode so that is still something that can change of course and of course there's only one thing left and that's when can we expect year five season two puppeteers to be live if you look in the game and you see the counter you see that next monday aka tuesday the golden bullet event will be over and if you look at the previous updates that we had there was always something that prepared the game for the new update and that's what happened yesterday and tuesday as we know the devs took the game offline for two days and every day it was four hours or a little bit longer to prepare for the season two and of course that special report is monday and if you look back to all the other special reports it was always the case that or next day or maybe the day after the new season would be released we do not have any official information about it but they already pushed all the seasons for an additional extra month per season so i hope they're ready and i hope we can expect it this tuesday and dive on those excursions but let me know in the comments down below what you think about this when do you think that the division 2's season two puppeteers will air do you think it's going to be this tuesday maybe even this thursday because back in the day we always had big updates on thursday as well or of course do you think we're gonna see it next week let me know in the comments down below but that's pretty much every information that i have and i cannot freaking wait to see what they have in store for us and of course we will probably see a little bit of a trailer or some more information and of course we will see the beard live again i can't wait until monday and don't forget to hit me up with a follow on twitch slash i am pure prime because we're gonna dive in there and of course think and talk about everything they will say monday thank you very much if you're still here you are a freaking legend if you stick to the end if you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form make sure to like this video and of course if you're new here or you want to just be updated about division 2 the future division 3 and the division universe make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and i will see you in the next video pure prime out